Distinguishing between the content message and the relational message. In this learning activity, you will distinguish the differences between the content message and the relational message. Every verbal statement has two dimensions, the content message and the relational message. Whenever we speak, we relate a content message and a relational message. Content messages are more obvious because they are the spoken words. Relational messages are less obvious because they usually are nonverbal. The content message refers to the subject matter you are discussing. For example, what are you doing after work today? The relational message refers to the relationship between you and the person you are communicating with and your feelings toward each other. For example, your relationship or feelings for a best friend influence your behavior with that friend. The relational message could include any of the following. Sharing more of your time with your friend. Helping your friend with a task. Being more relaxed around your friend. Relational messages deal with social needs such as inclusion, control, affection, and respect. Because relational messages are usually nonverbal, they can be ambiguous. To avoid misunderstanding, relational messages may require verbal checking. Communication problems can occur when communicators fail to check their interpretations or ignore the relational message. Relational messages can communicate indifference, friendliness, helpfulness, distrust, desire, respect, hate, love, aloofness, disgust, fear, submission, contempt, anger, and irritability. You have completed this learning activity. Distinguishing between the content message and the relational message.